Good morning. Welcome to Christ the King. Today we celebrate the 26th Sunday in Ordinary Time. Please take a moment to silence your cell phones and electronic devices. Please stand. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Let us call to mind our sins as we ask God for his mercy and peace. Lord Jesus, you were sent to heal the contrite. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you intercede for us at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, on earth, peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we, you. we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, and the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. God, who manifests your almighty power above all by pardoning and showing mercy, bestow, we pray, your grace abundantly upon us, and make those hastening to attain your promises heirs to the treasures of heaven. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Thank you. A reading from the book of the prophet Amos. Thus says the Lord, the God of hosts, Woe to the complacent in Zion, lying upon beds of ivory, stretched comfortably on their couches. They eat lambs taken from the flock and calves from the stall. Improvising to the music of the harp like David, they devise their own accompaniment. They drink wine from bowls and anoint themselves with the best oils, yet they are not made ill by the collapse of Joseph. Therefore, now they shall be the first to go into exile, and their wanton revelry shall be done away with. The word of the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord, my soul. Blessed is he who keeps faith forever, secures justice for the oppressed, gives food to the hungry, the Lord sets captives free. Praise the Lord, my soul. The Lord gives light to the blind. The Lord raises up those who are bowed down. The Lord loves the just. The Lord protects. 
protects strangers. Praise the Lord, my soul. The fatherless and the widow he sustains, but the way of the wicked he thwarts. The Lord shall reign forever. Your God, O Zion, through all generations. Alleluia. Praise the Lord, my soul. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to Timothy. But you, man of God, pursue righteousness, devotion, faith, love, patience, and gentleness. Compete well for the faith. Lay hold of eternal life to which you are called when you made the noble confession in the presence of many witnesses. I charge you before God, who gives life to all things, and before Jesus Christ, who gave testimony under Pontius Pilate for the noble confession, to keep the commandment without stain or reproach until the appearance of our Lord Jesus Christ, that the blessed and only ruler will make manifest at the proper time, the King of kings and the Lord of lords, who alone has immortality, who dwells in unapproachable light, and whom no human being has seen or can see. To him be honor and eternal power. Amen. The word of the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Though our Jesus, Lord Jesus Christ was rich, he became poor, so that by his poverty you might become rich. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to the Pharisees, There was a rich man who dressed in purple garments and fine linen and dined sumptuously each day. And lying at his door was a poor man named Lazarus, covered with sores, who would gladly have eaten his fill of the scraps that fell from the rich man's table. Dogs even used to come and lick his sores. When the poor man died, he was carried away by angels to the bosom of Abraham. The rich man also died and was buried. And from the netherworld where he was in torment, he raised his eyes and saw Abraham far off and Lazarus at his side. And he cried out, Father Abraham, have pity on me. Send Lazarus to dip the tip of his finger in water and cool my tongue for I am suffering torment in these flames. Abraham replied, My child, remember that you received what was good during your lifetime, while Lazarus likewise received what was bad. But now he is comforted here, whereas you are tormented. Moreover, between us and you a great chasm is established to prevent anyone from crossing who might wish to go from our side to yours or from your side to ours. He said, Then I beg you, Father, send him to my father's house, for I have five brothers, so that he may warn them, lest they too come to this place of torment. But Abraham replied, They have Moses and the prophets. Let them listen to them. He said, Oh no, Father Abraham, but if someone from the dead goes to them, they will repent. Then Abraham said, If they will not listen to Moses and the prophets, neither will they be persuaded if someone should rise from the dead. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. As a young child, Halloween was always a favorite time of the year. Not only was it an opportunity to dress up like one of my superheroes, but it was also a time to gather in all the loot 
all that candy. When we were young, uh, not old enough to go out on our own, my dad would take us and we would come back and uh, after uh, trick-or-treating, we would, all three of us, empty our bags onto the floor uh, to take a look at what we have and then started to trade what we didn't want with, with each other. All the three musketeer bars, however, had to always go to dad. I think that was for payment for taking us around. But I do remember one time when my brother, oldest brother Pat was old enough to go out on his own with a group of his friends in the neighborhood. And my dad took Mike and I out. And uh, when we came back, we were sitting on the floor with our candy going through and then in walked my brother Pat. And he was covered in dirt and um, his bag was empty. Evidently, some older teenagers in the neighborhood thought it would be funny to go around and steal candy uh, from kids. And when he told us the story, uh, we could see the sadness uh, that, he, that he was going through. Um, Mike and I, without any prompting um, from our parents, decided to push all our candy into one pile and the three of us were going to divide up what we had. I'd like to tell you that that's how we always treated each other and acted, <laughs> but uh, unfortunately for my parents, I don't think that was that would, was always the case. But anyways, once again, Jesus is doubling down on his message of being merciful to others as God has been merciful to us. Whenever Jesus um, repeats himself in teachings, it's always to emphasize the importance, the seriousness of the lesson that he's offering. He does that in chapter 6 of John with the Bread of Life discourse, going over and over again how uh, we are to eat his flesh and to drink his blood. He repeats that time and time again to, to drive the point home that that's literally what he's talking about. And he does the same again in the parable today. We've heard this the last few weeks um, in different ways, but it's, we're reminded that through the parable of Lazarus and the rich man, uh, that we are to be merciful to others as God has been merciful to us, especially for those who are poor and those who are in need to be able to look after them. He directs this parable right to the Pharisees who uh, are a group of people who are supposed to be examples in religion of, of um, uh, holiness, uh, of goodness uh, to the people that they're serving. But instead, uh, they have uh, look and take a look at their possessions and, and their desire for wealth has consumed them so much that they become blind to the needs of those around them. That instead of sharing the gifts that they have received, um, they hold it for themselves. And so Jesus is giving them a very important message today. Uh, it's the same message that Amos the prophet uh, gave in the first reading today. How important it is for us uh, to be aware of those around us and to share the gifts that we have. St. Paul even goes a step further in saying that as children of God, it's uh, we're also to seek the treasures of heaven. And as we seek the treasures of heaven uh, to, to accumulate the gifts of God's wisdom, his love, his forgiveness, his understanding, uh, becoming like God, um, we do that when we seek those treasures. And the treasures of the earth that are given to us are, are to be used to, to help those uh, in need. Uh, once again, Jesus calls us... Uh, um, he calls us to act as his children, and his children act in the same way that he acts, and that is to show mercy to others, to be merciful to others. So let us pray for that gift of mercy this day that we may continue to grow in his abundant mercy so that as we receive that gift, that treasure of heaven, it may be a gift that freely flows from our heart uh, to those around us so that we as children of God um, are also instruments of God's mercy. In one God, the Father the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible, I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only God, the Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial of the Father, through him all things remain, for us men and for our salvation, he came down from 
heaven. And by the Holy Spirit was incarnate the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He filled with gratitude for all that God has given us, we place before him now our petitions. That all church members discover the many riches of Christ's poverty, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That a spirit of charity and mutual support permeate our culture and the entire world, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That this community find new ways to bring the message of the gospel to our neighborhood. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the discernment of vocations that the faithful may trust in God's providence to lead them to their true calling, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, especially Scott Lawson, for whom this Mass is offered, we pray to the Lord. Almighty, ever-loving God, you gave us the gift of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, that we may come to know the gift of your love and mercy each and every day. Hear us now as we call out to you in our need and grant these prayers according to your will. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God.
Bless you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Wash me, O Lord, from my iniquity, cleanse me of all my sin. brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Accept the sacrifice of my hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Grant us, O merciful God, that this our offering may find acceptance with you, and that through it the wellspring of all blessing may be laid open before us. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with Lift up your hearts. Lift up the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For out of compassion for the waywardness that is ours, he humbled himself and was born of the Virgin. By the passion of the cross, he freed us from unending death. And by rising from the dead, he gave us life eternal. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Charles our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. 
Have mercy on us all, we pray. That with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days. That by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we wait the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word in my soul. May the body of Christ keep me safe.
Let us pray. May this heavenly mystery, O Lord, restore us in mind and body, that we may be co-heirs in glory with Christ, to whose suffering we are united whenever we proclaim his death, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Thank you. Congratulations to our school for being recognized as a 2022 National Blue Ribbon School. This is the school's second time receiving the award. I do want to congratulate Mr. Ed Seib, our principal, on this award. Also the, the staff, the teachers, uh, the parents and students. Uh, it's a very prestigious award. I also want to thank Father Todd Reby for his uh, leadership during that time in which this award was, was won. So we are the only grade school in the Archdiocese uh, to receive this award, um, which is a quite remarkable thing. So uh, thank you for all the support that you give uh, to our school as well. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God.